Watching Florida quarterback Kyle Trask has been one of the most efficient and accurate quarterbacks in the country this season. He's completing over 71% of his passes through eight games. This rep was a really good example of how his ball placement and his accuracy is leading to that high completion percentage number. It came against the South Carolina Gamecocks. They're going to show late pressure before the snap. And with this step down from the linebacker onto the line, the strong safety step down closer to the box as well. Now, Trask has Kyle Pitts, probably the best receiving tight end in the country, and split out wide against J.C. Horn, who is also one of the best cornerbacks in the country. All three players, Trask, Pitts, and Horn, are going to be high picks in the 2021 NFL Draft. Now, Florida's going to run play action, and after the play action, you'll see the safety comes down to the box, the linebacker's blitzing. Kyle Trask knows that he has Pitts one-on-one -on -one against Horn, when you have a player as dynamic and as explosive as this in one-on-one -on -one coverage, you're sure it's one-on-one -on -one coverage, it's really okay to take that shot, to take a chance, and especially when they're running a vertical route. So as Trask gets the top of his drop, he realizes he has one-on-one, -on -one, he wants to throw to that side. J.C. Horn is looking away from him, right? He's playing in a man turn, he has his eyes blind to the quarterback, but he's doing a really good job of squeezing it to the sideline. So right now, it's going to be difficult for Pitts to get on top and go vertically down the field. So Kyle Trask wants to throw it to the back shoulder. So as he's going to release it, you're going to realize that J.C. Horn actually does start to locate the ball before Trask lets go of it. That could be a disaster for a quarterback because now the corner who squeezed the route towards the sideline is now locating the ball, is going to be able to see the ball for the entire length that's in the air and can make an adjustment to it. The only way this ball fits in is if it's located to the outside and low down the stem where Kyle Pitts can turn his body, kind of use his frame to box out and reach off the sideline, past the sideline to catch it. And that's exactly where Trask ends up putting the ball. Off the sideline, low down the stem, Horn's momentum took him a little bit too far upfield and Pitts is able to use his extension and his body to, to box out and use his frame to and his length to beat J.C. Horn to the catch point. Only happened because of the accuracy shown by Kyle Trask.